So I've been using Bento as my email marketing platform of choice for the last several months. And the thing that I've realized is that there is an incredible amount of power underneath the hood of this platform. And the other thing I've realized is that I don't think a lot of people understand fully. They probably played around just like myself and tried to understand the different things and everything like that. And support is fantastic. Uh, but there's just a lack of tutorial content. So I partnered with Bento to create some tutorial content for you guys. And in this video particularly, we're gonna talk about double opt-in and how to do that, why you would wanna do that and such. So to start off, what is double opt-in? Why would you wanna do it? You know, those types of questions. There's a really good support article from our blog post article from Bento that I will link in the description here that I'm showing on screen right now. And the high level that you would want to, and this is kind of opinionated, but these are also the reasons that you would want to is, the first thing is certain parts of the world, they're gonna make you do that depending on what their uh, you know, their reasoning is or their you know legal policies and things like that. So in certain cases, like definitely check if you have to do something like this. But if you're in a part of the world that doesn't have to do something like this, the reason you might want to just in general is because one, you're gonna get a cleaner list. The people that are submitting their you know email address into the form field and everything like that, you're gonna have to, and you've done this before probably, you've probably entered your email into an account and they're like, hey, we have to verify your email address and they're gonna send you an email, you have to click something. It's that type of thing, that's what we're doing here. But it's for an email list, not necessarily an account all the time. So that's a really good reason. You wanna have a cleaner list if you're the one that's managing that list, right? If it's your list, if you're on the other end of that, you wanna make sure you're actually sending emails to real people and not like ruining your email quote or anything like that. And then the other thing from a user perspective is if they type in their email in and for some reason there's a typo or anything like that, they're they're not going to get that email verification and they're going to know like you know it's just a better it's a better a uh, little peace of mind thing for the user as well as you know kind of the way that i look at it so go check out that article if you want to see more benefits and make sure you follow the chapters in this video too because we're going to cover a couple different topics if you want to skip around but that is the main reason why you'd want to do something like this now let's kind of talk about how you would want to do it and kind of the options i'm going to talk about two different ways specifically that i have done this specifically in bento the first way is if you don't have a website. If you don't have a website currently, you don't have anywhere to send people to, what we're gonna, one of the concepts that we're gonna talk about here is basically you're kind of triggering an event when they click on a certain link in the email and that verification link, and I'll show you all this stuff, I'm just trying to give you the high level, there's th these two ways, and the one is without a website. If you don't have a website, Bento offers a really nice way where you can just generate a confirmation link, and then we can build our flow, our little automation off of that, and the, and the user will get double opted in and everything will be good. The second way is if you do have a website, and that's probably what you're used to experiencing, where you get one of those emails and then you click a link in there and you go to the actual, you know, um, the, the mailing list or the accounts website. And it's there's like a thank you page and all sorts of other stuff that you might go through, like a couple different things. I have that set up on my website. I'll show you that as the second way. So the first question you have to ask yourself, right, before we even start here is, do you have a website? Which way do you wanna go about this? Do you wanna do the just the simple confirmation link that I'll show you that flow for, or do you wanna go the website route? Again, there's chapters down there if you wanna skip around, but I'm gonna show you both ways. And let's just kinda of get into it here. So the first thing is if we pop over into our Bento dashboard. If you're already on Bento, you know you can go up. There's a link in the description. You go check it out. Uh, if you if you're already on Bento, then you're kind of familiar with the dashboard a little bit. We, I made a full overview video actually on everything that is in this entire back end of this platform, which we're not going to cover right now. I'll leave a link to that up in a card and in the in the description as well. But you should probably familiar, familiarize yourself with that to a certain extent. The only real places that we're gonna be in today for this tutorial is just in the flows. So if you come into flows and come down here, there are a couple different uh, things that I already have set up. Don't worry about this one at the bottom here. We're just worried about double opt-in for website and double opt-in via Bento link. If you, you're not gonna have anything here, so you're just gonna add a new flow and you're gonna create you know, just a, a link and I'll, walk, and I'll walk you through everything here. Uh, the title, doesn't matter what the titles are. These are just the way that I you know, titled mine. So let's first talk about the double opt-in via the Bento link, which is this flow right here. So we're kind of reverse engineering this a little bit. We're starting from the end. This is ultimately what your flow could look like. And I'm gonna put another big disclaimer in here right now is that your flow could get more complex than this if you want to. The, the, the really tough part about making these types of videos is that your situation, you're gonna have to take this and just kind of extrapolate on it to fit your needs. I'm just telling you kind of how I do it. And this should get you like 80, 90% of the way there. But again, depending on your business case, you might wanna expand on this. So I'll try to leave a little bit of room for interpretation for some of those things. 
this is a flow, okay? And all flows, you can take all these different, you know, uh, like triggers and actions and things like that and bring them onto the page and then kind of go throughout this. If you want a more detailed, like beginner guide on flows and everything like that, leave comments in the comment section down below and I will oblige and we will, we will do some more videos like this. But at a high level, this is this is the double opt-in thing. So the one thing I would say is there's a little trigger up here that could attend, it, depending on how you wanna do this, um, I have mine set to unlimited, which is just like choose whether they can have unlimited sessions or just once. I think for most of the time, you're probably gonna want unlimited. I haven't had any issues, but again, just that's a one random piece of this that you wanna kind of keep in the back of your mind. Maybe play around with that depending on how you are uh, using your flows and things like that. So. The first thing here is what are we trying to do? We are trying to get people to double opt in to our mailing list via this this bento link. They're, what the, what that means is they're not going to click a link in the when they get an email, the verification email that we'll show here. They're not clicking and going back to our website. They're just clicking this link that bento automatically confirms them to. So let's keep that in mind as we as we go about this. The first thing you're going to need to do right, is you're looking at the flow and you're like, okay, we have this flow here and we'll go through each step, but how do we even get to this flow? How do we get to that spot in general? When you go to a different website, right, let's let's flip the script. When you go to a website and you want to sign up for a newsletter, what does that normally look like? There's normally just a form and maybe it has first name, last name, but it definitely has email, right? It doesn't have to have first name or last name. Let's just say it has email. You probably go to something like this, which is my newsletter page, right? MarkSemancy.co slash newsletter. You've seen this many, many times. Might have these first two fields. It definitely has an email address field, right? So the user is going to put in whatever information they deem, they deem fit, at least the email as minimum, right? And then they're gonna click join or subscribe or what have you. What happens there is, again, this is kind of like subjective. In the world of Bento, you're gonna wanna send a little event when that happens, okay? Now, and this is where this gets a little a little hard to explain, so you're gonna have to bear with me, and again, if you have a specific case, I can try to recreate it, so leave that in the comments. I literally cannot cover every single use case because you can use probably tens, if not hundreds of different methods to make this happen, which is the, which is the beauty of Bento. You could use the, like, I'll just give you some examples. If you look at this form right here, right, then you're going to wonder, well, how, how did you make this form? Like, what are you using? Are you using like a Wix, using a WordPress? Well, this is WordPress, and this particular form is built with WS form. You may have never heard of WS form, right? You may have, you may, you may have, but you may have not. Maybe you've heard of a Gravity Forms, or maybe you've just like built your form in Wix or what have you. Bento integrates with all those types of things, but the only important part is that you're sending the event when that form is triggered, and we'll talk about that. I wanna talk about one more other form thing real quick. This is just Bento forms. If you just have Bento, you can just create a little form on your, on your like within your Bento form dashboard, click generate code, and then, and then put this right on any website. So you don't even need to deal with those other forms. I'm just, I'm just trying to show you right now that you have the options, right? If you want more options, you, you have those options depending on what type of form or what type of web building platform you're on. The only important part really is the event that sends back to Bento and triggers that when you click the subscribe button, okay? So if you have a form builder that has an integration with Bento, like a WS form or anything like that on WordPress or Wix or anything like that, then you know this part I'm just saying is a little subjective. But as long as you can get an event back into Bento, you're gonna be golden for this. So that's a huge disclaimer there that I have to add, and I know that might have been a little bit confusing. Again, if you're confused on any of that, leave a comment, and I will do my best to clear any of that up. But regardless of what platform you're using, ju you just need that form, and you need to be able to send in an event. Now, what am I talking about, though, when I when I say event? Like, what does that actually mean? Well, it is kind of confusing if this is your first time, so I totally get that. So let's go back to the flow, and I'll explain how this works. The first thing that you have here is a new custom event. That is a trigger. Right, and if you're not familiar with flows and like automation tools like this, you normally need a trigger in order to start the flow, right? So the the trigger in this case is just a new custom event. So you would just pull this in here, and then you'd be like, and you can describe it however you want. And in my case, I would say like a new sign up, and then down here there's a bunch of different things you can have like custom events and stuff like that. But custom event contains sign up. Now what that means effectively, I'm going to try to again like explain this in like normal person language. What that means is that like Bento is waiting for something to happen. It's waiting to get something back from your website or from your form. 
when it sees that it got back an event called sign underscore up, and you can name that whatever you want, but like when it, when it sees that, then it's going to start this flow. That's the trigger to start this flow. So the all you have to do to make this happen and to trigger this and to make sure that it gets triggered is that whether you're in like a WS form, okay? So WS form again is a form building platform on WordPress that has an integration with Bento. All you have to do for something like this, and you could take this information and use it on like a gravity forms or anything else. As long as you as long as it has the integration and you can send the, the events, all I did to make this happen was I put sign up, little you know uh, dollar sign sign up as my event type that is sending to trigger this. So when somebody clicks subscribe or clicks join my list, that's what ends up getting sent. And it also sends obviously the fields and stuff like that, the email and everything like that. Um, it's probably easier if this is just your first time to kind of think about it from the bento form way again. So this would be the event that you know is triggered when the form is submitted. So what I would do here is if that was my email event, I would just go like this. Okay, and then if that was my the event that I wanted to get triggered, then it would be just sign up. And then when I had this embedded on my website, somebody pressed subscribe, then that that event would come over there, and that was that would be what would be triggered. So again, there's there's a lot of different ways that you could utilize this, and this is just one way that you can kind of go about it. So if we come back over, hopefully that makes sense. That when the form gets submitted, you have that event there, and it gets sent through the form via the integration back over to Bento. Now, what happens then? So that, that event comes over into Bento, and then you have these, these flows always listening for those events. So it listens for that event, and then as soon as it gets that, that trigger for that sign up, it's like, okay, well, let's start this. So the first thing that it does in this flow, and again, you can, you can change this however you want, but the first thing that it does is it auto unsubscribes. So there's an event over here that's like an action, and I believe it's an action or it's an update. So you bring in unsubscribe and that's what this block is. Now, why are we doing that? Well, the reason is because when you put in, by default, when somebody subscribes into Bento, like into your list, they're already kind of like subscribed. Like when, when you add somebody into your list, they're automatically subscribed, which is, you can have opinions on whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It doesn't really matter, it's just how it works. So the thing that you need to do is you need to unsubscribe them because you don't want them to be subscribed. You want them to be unsubscribed so we can go and double opt, opt them in. So you auto unsubscribe them and this part is kind of important. If you're gonna do this step, which you, which you have to, you wanna put the reason in here. And then when the reason you put this in here is because then you can search that reason or you have like kind of a log of, okay, this person was put in here. Imagine if you have like thousands of, of uh, emails coming into your list, like email subscribers coming into your list and subscribing. You wanna know like, and some of them are going to actually unsubscribe over time. You wanna know why the unsubscribed, uh, the unsubscription, you know, like was like did happen. And in this case, it's automated. So you just say auto unsubscribe via double opt-in, right? So they, they get in, they unsubscribe, they're automatically unsubscribed with this reason. And then the next thing we do is now they're sitting in the list, but they're not gonna get emails because they're not subscribed. So we send them that email right away, which is that confirmation email that everyone is used to. When you sign up for something and then you get this, the, 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 uh, the, the site that says, hey, you know, we sent you a verification link, go over, check it out, click a button, da 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 da. That is what we've created here. So we're sending an email, that's just another action, right? So we drag in action, send an email. And then this is the, kind of the beautiful part of Bento. Everything is like so beautifully like intertwined and everything. You can you can create an email for this just with a drag and drop editor or any other you know any of the other options that they have for designing emails, and you have a template that you can just add in here. Also, you want this to be transactional uh, because we definitely want them to send this. This we definitely want this email to always get sent. It's not a marketing email. It's verify your stuff. So let's take a look real quick at this at this what this looks like. This is our email template. This is the one that I've uh, crafted, but you could do whatever you want here. You can make it as beautiful or as, as you know as bland as you would like. And all you have is something like this: "Hello, visitor email," and that's a, a little liquid variable thing that's gonna it's gonna know because it's the one that uh, that is from the flow and everything like that. You know, we just tried to email you. Da da da. da please verify, and then they click this button. Now, this button is the we'll call it the magic button, so to speak. Okay. And depend. This is the this is the real key piece in this email template. If this, if we're again, let's remember where we're at right now. We're on the Bento link. We're on the confirmation link via Bento. So you're you're gonna get to this point. You're gonna be like, okay, well, I don't have a website. I don't have them. I, I can't send them anywhere. I can't do anything. So like, where am I gonna send them? Well, there's this really really cool thing over here 
in the editor of the emails where you can come in and you can see like all sorts of like for for a link of this button you can have like all sorts of different stuff like mail links obviously regular site links there's one here this bento section where it's confirmation or subscribe url so you want to change this to that it's just a variable for your confirmation via url for your uh bento this is automatically generated you don't have to do anything Okay, you just put that in there, you press save, and then now when somebody gets this email on this flow, they're gonna click that link, and then they're gonna be sent to basically a page that just says like like a little bento icon and says you've been subscribed, like your confirmation has been subscribed and everything like that. It's just important to know because it's not gonna send them to your website, it's gonna send them to the thing that bento has automatically created. Now, I'm gonna explain to you why that's important or what like what happens after that, because imagine that the user gets that confirmation email, they click that link and they see a screen now that just says like Bento now and has like, you know, subscribe and all that sort of stuff. This works, it does resubscribe them and everything. It's just not, we'll talk about it in the second half when we talk about the, the more website flow way, but it's good. It's just not like a very cohesive experience because now they're seeing something about Bento rather than seeing uh, you know, your website, so to speak. So again, keep that in mind, but let's let's finish up on this side. So it's important to understand when they click that auto subscribe link in the email, they're automatically going to be subscribed. So you actually don't really have to do anything else. The one little thing that I have created because I wanted to get like an, an extra, you know, validation that like everything worked and they, and they did subscribe is that that link that is auto generated is going to have the word confirmations in it. If you test this out, you'll see that for yourself. And then all I've done over here is had an, another new trigger called a new click event, right? So I pulled that in I, and called it Bento confirmations link clicked. And then I said, what, like in the email, if link clicked contains confirmation. So if the URL that's clicked contains confirmations, then I just send an email literally just to myself that says, hey, we got a new email subscriber. Here's their email. They just confirmed their just subscription. Now, this is more of a testing thing, right? If you're getting millions of these, you, you probably don't want to have this on necessarily. Um, but it is an option because this side of the flow is the one that like actually, you know, sees that they got, uh, that they that they submitted the form, unsubscribes them and then sends a confirmation email and everything like works as long as they click that button. This over here is kind of more like, okay, like let's just double check that everything like is working and that they did get, they actually did click the link and then, you know, it emails us just to say, hey, you got a new email subscriber, way to go. So hopefully that makes sense there. Um, Again, you don't have to use a proprietary form builder. You could just use the built-in, um, you know, bento form thing. But it does give you a ton of options with the way that these flows are set up and the events and everything like that. So that is uh, that's way one. We can do this if you don't have a website. I had to do this when I didn't have when I was like in the middle of creating my website and I didn't have like I didn't you know want to like expose like different pages and things like that. This is one way to do it, and you will just walk through it and see. You know they'll subscribe and there will be a, like a, basically just like a bento branded page that they'll get and then from there you know all is good as far as like your list is concerned okay so now on to how we double opt in with an actual website a more cohesive and branded approach here that if you guys have a website you probably want to go this route the, we needed to cover the first way though because a lot of the things overlap with how you do it on the website side of things and i do think it's really important to have that option available for you, that option one, if you don't have a website, because I could totally understand, and I was literally in that case as well. So let's kind of think about at a high level what we're doing here now. We're doing this, we're trying to accomplish the same thing, but we're trying to make it a little bit better of a user experience, and it opens up a couple different things, the way that Bento is able to do this, you know, as, you know, compared to other emailing platforms, right? Just the, with the, all the capabilities of this flow builder. So let's take a look at this one. This is a different flow now. You can see there's an extra step down here, and this is an opt-in via the website. So what are we looking at here? New sign up, exactly the same. This new this new custom event is exactly the same. It's a new sign up. We have our sign up uh, event, you know, is being triggered. Okay, perfect unsubscribe exactly the same okay it's just unsubscribe with our reasoning for you know it being in the flow verification email is exactly the same with an asterisk the actual the actual step is the same the only thing different is we have to go in our email template and we have to change that link why do we have to change that link well, when somebody gets this email we don't want to send them to that bento branded confirmations page anymore and do it that way we want to send them to our website right? Again, going back to our example, if you've ever signed up for an account, you've clicked on verify your email, 
most of the time it's probably gonna send you back into the website, into your dashboard or, wh or what have you, so you can just get to work. It's like, okay, you're verified now, do whatever you wanna do, right? Well, in our case, if we're just doing a mailing list, we can do a variation of that, right? So we're gonna send them, in my case here, to just a thank you page, like a newsletter slash thank you page. And I'll, I'll demo this one fully for you because it's completely set up and I can show you of how this flow is gonna work. But just to understand, this link is the link that's in there, in, in your case, let's say in your case, it would be like your domain name.com, whatever, slash maybe thank you, or slash newsletter, slash thank you. It does not matter what it is, just this page is where they're gonna go. And the reason we need to know that link is because when we come back over to our flow, this is how we're gonna subscribe them in this case. Before, it automatically subscribed them because it was the built-in Bento subscribe link. But in this case, we have a new click event over here, and this is where things start to change a little bit. So our verification link has been clicked as just our description. Down here, how does that, like how do we know that, right? Well, there was an email link, there was an email, and in that, there was a link clicked. And that URL contained our link. So whatever, whatever page you create on your website, your thank you page, we'll call it, whatever page you create on there, you want to put here, and you want to put in the button link in the email for the template, right? So this is your this is your thank you page link right here. And then this is this has to match the button link for this flow in that email template and this link right here has to match. Okay? So what it, and, and all that means is that oops, click that. There we go. Uh, and all that means is that this is listening, right? Bento, the flow is listening that when that email gets sent, it's listening for somebody to click on this link and then it's gonna trigger this side of our little flow here, right? And what happens when they click that link? Well, the next step is that they're, it's just a subscribe action, or an update actually. So you pull you pull in a little block called subscribe from the updates, and then it just verified and subscribed via the website double opt-in. That's just the description that I put in there, you can name it whatever you want. But all that means is that it's gonna know who that person is via that email, and it's gonna subscribe them. Okay, and then the last thing is totally optional. Again, this is the exact same type of step that we saw before. It's like, okay, at this point in the flow, if we get to this point, we know that the person was, you know, they went through the whole flow and they were now subscribed. So I just send myself a little email just to make sure that things working, that it, it knows that people confirmed. I'll throw in one other thing here before we fully demo this for you, is that step is really nice, in my opinion, because there's many times, like I get notified kind of in both ways. I get notified via my form, which you could do this via Bento over here. I know I'm going off a slight tangent, but if you wanted to get notified, for instance, when somebody signs up and when somebody confirms, because those are two separate things that they have to do, or at least separate you know, buttons that they have to press, right, so to speak, in this, in this flow, you could put another internal email down here where it's like, as soon as they, as anywhere in this really, whenever they, whenever they sign up, that, you get an email saying like, hey, somebody signed up. A lot of times the form plugin that you use will actually do that for you, so you don't necessarily have to do that. But my point is I wanna know when they sign up and I also wanna know when they confirm, just so I know that they finished the process, so to speak, right? And you don't have to do that if you're getting like a huge volume, but it, you know, at least to test, it's very nice. So just think of these internal email uh, blocks as kind of like more of like just making sure everything's working. All right, so. What are we gonna do now? Well, let's go over and actually show you how this flow actually works. The other one's not really as exciting and it's also it's also a little simpler. This one you have to do work because you're on your website side of things. You have to set it up, you know, how you how you hopefully wanna set it up. So if we go here, right, we have get my WordPress emails as our page and as, as my page that I am that I am getting people on, right? Slash newsletter for yours, slash subscribe, whatever whatever you want. So let's just walk through this so you know, if you set this up like this, what your customers and your potential subscribers would kind of feel as they go through this flow. So we could put first name and last name in there, it's not important for right now, so I'm just gonna put in an email address, I'm gonna click join the list, right? Now, I, this is slightly outside the scope of this, but this is how I would recommend doing this. What you're seeing right here actually has almost nothing to do with what we've been talking about as far as the flow. This page right here is called verify, right? That's like my newsletter slash verify. You can see it up here. I also bring in like a parameter so I can like show this email in here. Different tutorial, we could talk about this specifically. I don't wanna go into this right now because this is a little this is a little extra and it very depends on what, what you know platform you're using for your website stuff. But all I'm saying is that 
in most flows like this, you're going to get to a page that says like verify your email. You could easily just say have it say that right underneath the form as well, depending on what you're doing. But the way that I have this structured is that you put in that information. I clicked join the list, right, in my form. What happened in the back end? That sign underscore up event got sent over to Bento as soon as I clicked that button. And then the form redirected me to a page that just with a little bit more information says like, hey, verify your email, okay? We sent you an email, go take a look at it, make sure you check your spam, all that sort of stuff that you normally see. I even put in these little courtesy links down here, you don't have to do any of that. But the point is that now the user is gonna know, oh wait, I have to go verify my thing too? Okay, let me definitely go do that. Now you go over to your Gmail or where have you and I will show you what that email is gonna look like. So now the user pops over into their email, again, whatever it is, and they're gonna get that email template that we sent, right, that we set up before. And this is what they're gonna have. They're gonna come in and they're gonna say, hello, hey, da da da, da. and obviously it's gonna automatically fill all that information. And this link right here is going to take them over to our beautiful little page here that's like a thank you page, right? So again, notice we have newsletter slash thank you, you're officially on my list, da 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 da, great, awesome, appreciate it, da da da, and then you could have like a video playing or whatever the hell you want, and then maybe if you wanna send them somewhere else, you could do that. But my point is that this flow here, so to speak, like from a user experience perspective, makes total sense and is very similar to what they would experience, right? They, they're gonna have a verif, they're gonna put their stuff in, they're gonna say, hey, get a page that says, hey, go verify, uh, your email, and then they're gonna come to a thank you page. And the reason this thank you page is important is because this was the part that we said when somebody is in this email and they click that link specifically, it triggers another thing back to Bento, and it says, hey, this person was subscribed, this person like like said they wanted to be subscribed, we auto unsubscribe them, right? And then when they click that link again, we resubscribe them into our list, and we're, there's no question now that they are an actual person and, they, and they're fully subscribed to our list. So to wrap this up, I just wanna show you kind of the, the next thing that I would do. If you've built all this flow, if you have any trouble, if you're just trying to like make sure everything's working, here's what you do next. You go over to people and you find the, the, you know, the, the email address maybe that you're testing with and you take a look at it. This is kind of the, you know, like the little profile for that specific email address that we put in here, okay? And you can see all of these different options here as far as like emails and events and flows and all that sort of stuff. Bento does a great job of like telling you what the person and you know, in particular the email address has like gone through and clicked on and all that sort of stuff. If we would have looked at this page before I, I clicked the button to confirm, it would have said unsubscribe and it would have said because of the, it would have said our reason, it would have said auto unsubscribe, right? So they, they, the email address got brought in, it got immediately unsubscribed and, then, and, and it only got resubscribed when we clicked that link. So that's an important thing to understand. You can also see all of the events. So we know that it got passed in with that sign up, right? When we went into the form and we clicked join our list or whatever, you know, the event came in along with this email so it knows immediately that that is the, that that is, you know, log that event. And then it also knows that that email went out to this address and there was a click action on that link that was newsletter slash thank you or your thank you page, right? And then the other thing it also shows here is even like the flows that this this email address is in and, and the steps that it's taking. So this is exactly it right here, right? So that the, the event sign up came in, it got triggered there. And then the other, the other one went in where it was like the new email subscriber uh, was confirmed. So you can even see all the emails obviously that you've sent. And at this point, we've only sent one to this user. If you had, uh, you know, if you go through the rest of the time, you know, again, slightly out of scope, but like you would see all the email uh, campaigns that you've sent to this person, everything like that. So hopefully this has all kind of made sense. Hopefully you're a little bit more uh, educated and understanding on kind of how these things work. Again, I am barely scratching the surface in this video on what Bento can do from a capability perspective with all the different like automation flows, triggers, actions, and everything in, in that flows system. But to kind of summarize here, there's two main ways, you can expand it however you want, but there's two main ways that I've found to get per people to confirm via that double opt-in. The one is the built-in way with the Bento link. That's pretty straightforward and easy, but a little less of a ideal user experience because you're just sending them to like a random page that just says, hey, you've been subscribed from Bento. The cooler way, the more cohesive way is if you do it via your website, a couple extra steps, but ultimately the same thought process and concept. Um, if you guys want to see more information about th even this specifically with different types of tools and everything like that, please leave your sp your specific requests in the comments and I will do my best to make more videos on this uh, and on those topics so you can 
follow along like completely. Um, if you have any thoughts or anything like that, leave them down there below. If you like this video, if you got anything out, out of it, please click the like button, subscribe. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. But that's it. Thank you guys so much. If you want to check out Bento, there's a link in the description. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.